what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A 20-year-old who was the only survivor of a quadruple shooting in Jacksonville, Florida on Tuesday night was arrested according to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Kenyatta Bullet was one of four young men in a car that was left riddled with bullet holes late Tuesday after someone opened fire, killing three of the occupants. Among those killed were 19-year-old Jacoby Groover, 18-year-old Royal Smith Jr., and Bullet's younger brother, 18-year-old Trevin Bullard. Kenyatta Bullard was wounded but survived and was released from the hospital, police said. Bullard's attorney said that his client was hit over a dozen times. According to the sheriff's office, Kenyatta Bullard was sentenced to 31 months of probation last October after pleading no contest to being an accessory after the fact in a Clay County case. Bullard's attorney, David Haas, said that immediately after he was released from the hospital, Bullard visited his probation officer to see if he could be moved out of town for safety following the attack. Haas said the probation officer approved the move but called Bullard back in, possibly after a tip was reported to the police and arrested him for violating his probation. Police said that in less than two hours Friday night, 675 people called the sheriff's office complaining that Bullard had been jailed while he was still recovering in the hospital. I've always found it dirty how police can arrest the victim of a crime. The dude is clearly a victim. And you would think that they would say, you know what, you know, we gon' we know he's on probation, but we ain't gonna trip too hard right now. Uh, the kid has lost his brother. He got shot ten damn times. Let's just you know let him recover in the hospital, and we'll deal with this later. But no, that's too much like right. And then for dude to go to his probation officer and self-report his probation violation tells you one thing that he was looking for protection he wasn't trying to run from the authorities he's trying to run from the the uh, criminal element you know the danger that he was in so they want to penalize him even though he reported they want to penalize him for violation. What is, like, what is the violation? Like, okay, you was in a car, somebody had a gun, but he didn't have a gun. But, again, you know, that's how they get down. They're not really concerned about, like, being righteous. They just want to, okay, well, this is what the law say, you know. And the thing about the law is that the law has a lot of latitude. Judges, prosecutors, uh, even grand jurors, uh, grand juries, man, they have a lot of latitude on what they can do, what they can accept. And a lot of times they just pick up petty stuff, man, because that's just how they're built. They have blamed this dude's music. They say he's a rapper. But damn, who ain't a rapper these days? But... They're trying to blame his music. They're also saying that he was in a gang. A lot of people are siding with Kenyatta Bullet. They feel sorry for the kid. I do too. But I got to tell you this. Self-accountability is everything in this case. Number one, had he not put himself in a position to get involved in their system in the first place and receive probation, they wouldn't have probation to use against them. They wouldn't have a prior to use against them in the first place. And thus, there is no probation officer to go see and ask, can you leave town to save your life? If he's not in the car with the possible gang members, because they also said that he was in a gang, then 
there's probably not a situation where somebody is either retaliating or targeting them. Because that's definitely more to this story than what's being told. Now, I'm not excusing what the killers did. Whatever they did, whoever they are, I'm sure they'll get caught and they will end up in a very bad situation for themselves. They're going to destroy their families too. But hopping in the wrong car with the wrong people at the wrong time can cost you your freedom or your life. Because when them killers come, they ain't asking no questions. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?